KP Richard Mab was killed by police last week. Officials in Tunisia say several arrests have been made in connection with last week's attack that killed 38 people at a beach resort. Fox News, we report, you decide. The more you learn about your insurance coverage, the more gaps you might find. Like how you thought you were covered for this. Check out my new addition. Wow, I love this new master bedroom. When you're really only covered for this. Check out my new addition. Wow, a Murphy bed. Now you see it, now you don't. Or how you may be covered if you drive your car into a pool. That pool came out of nowhere. But not if you drive a carpool. Talk to a farmer's agent about what gaps might be hiding in your insurance. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, you're just so original. Hey, Nathan's fans. Share your selfie today and enter the Nathan Selfie Sweepstakes for a chance to win great prizes all summer long, like a trip to New York City. And it makes me smile, makes me smile. Just take your selfie with a package of Nathan's Hot Dogs and upload it to NathanSelfie.com. No purchase necessary. For official rules, visit NathanSelfie.com. Yeah, you're just so original. All right, 28 minutes before 12 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this Monday morning. I don't know if it's raining where you are, but it looks, yes, it is drizzling or raining here at the Paddock Mall. And there's definitely some clouds moving in. It's not even anywhere near as warm. I think it actually went down a little bit. Yeah, I'm a little chilly. Uh, it was uh, 80, now it's 79. So it went down a degree. And, and, and thunderstorms are in the forecast. Well, why don't you go to Jerry's Point and Gun? Ruben is on the phone from Jerry's. Good morning, Ruben. How you doing? Good morning, guys. How are you doing today? Pretty good. Fourth of July weekend. If, I mean, week. It feels like uh, it's kind of like a holiday week, isn't it? Yes, it is. Everybody's in a great mood. Uh, everybody's nice and chipper today. And Fourth of July is around the corner. Of course, it's raining. Um, but, hey, come get out of the rain at Jerry's Pond and Gun. Come see us. Do you know what I was wondering? Do you have binoculars there? Yes, we do. We have all sorts of binoculars from... Uh, cheaper kind of a budget kind of binocular up right onto the Swarovski which is like a Swarovski crystal very expensive oh really top of the line best they make oh yes definitely very nice optic and very nice glass and, and uh, do are they better like just do you get can you tell a difference like could I tell the difference is maybe the better question yes you could uh, with the with the more budget type binoculars the, like I say they're still a great product but the clarity of the lenses is where it's at where you get um, like a decent piece of glass when you go with it, the uh, Swarovski crystal is you would think there's no glass at all you're just looking through a clear tube it is absolutely an awesome experience to look at oh that's cool and what about telescopes yeah, I, i've never asked you about these things before what about telescopes we don't have any telescopes that's right now we do get them and it is something that um we, we would like to sell we just don't have any right now the closest thing we have to that is some spotting scopes like if you're uh nature watching or hunting or whatnot there there are some high magnification scopes but no telescopes oh really like the kind you use on the golf course those things yeah exactly um the, the, like i say there you can pinpoint you know an object or a target but we just don't have any telescopes but i tell you what we do have we have everything else at jerry's pawn and gun what do you got we have some <laughs> nice huge things everything but what i'm asking about yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> we have collectible guns. We have some really nice diamonds and jewelry. We have an on-site jeweler if you um, need to get something worked on or need a custom piece made. Lots of name brand tools, Ingersoll, Rand, Snap-on, pretty much everything. Even some nice smiles and great hospitality here at Jerry's Pond. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Well, uh, J Jerry sometimes cooks, too. Will he be cooking Fourth of July? Will you be open on Saturday? We will not be open on Saturday. We will be closed. Mm -hmm. But we'll be we will be open every day until then from eight thirty to five. So you should come on down and see us. You can get your, you know, Fourth of July festivity gifts. You can get your American flag, your Coaster sunglasses to wear in your, you know, uh, Fourth of July festivities sitting in your brand new Indian River canoe. That's right. right. Gun. And get, take the canoe in the Silver River. And let me let me tell you something that J Joe, who I, you haven't met Joe yet, he owns the station here, but he went on a boat on the Silver River, took a picture of a monkey that he saw in the tree and when he got exactly. and when he got the picture on his computer he found other monkeys in the picture that he didn't see when he was there in person it's like yeah. the, the camera caught it all but he didn't see it until he saw his, his photograph sure there's there's lots of them out there and and perfect perfect thing to say come get your indian river canoe at jerry's pond and gun and you too can mm -hmm. take your own trip down the river and take pictures of the wildlife <laughs> and monkeys and, and if you don't have a camera you got cameras too right 
Exactly. We have Nikon. We have uh, Canon. We have all the major brands. Digital cameras, excellent shape. They all work well. We, you know, we test them before we sell them, and they're great products, and uh, they would be great to own. Do you have some uh, unique jewelry items that you have there, like uh, something in, in, in the necklace line? We do. We actually have a lot of uh, really pretty silver chains and some gold chains, and there there's a really wide selection of them. The ladies are really friendly and really knowledgeable about our jewelry, and they would be glad to help anyone. And say, you know, you pick out a chain and it's maybe too big, maybe not long enough. Guy, our on-site world-famous jeweler, can fix it for you, make it perfect. He's the best in the world. All right, all right. So, uh, Ruin, I guess the only two things we need to know, three things, the phone number, the address, and the website. All right. Our phone number here at Jerry's Pawn and Gun is 352-622-3780. And we are located at 404 Northwest 8th Street, Ocala, Florida. All right. Easy, nice. easy to find. It's one of my favorite places to go. And it's definitely my favorite pawn, pawn shop. Uh, and just, just some really great people over there. Ruben, thank you so much for doing what you do. We'll see you soon. We appreciate that. And I also, like I say real quick before we have to go, I know our time's running out. We're also looking for good merchandise, good items, tools, collectible guns, Colts, German pistols. If you've got some items you want to get rid of, you know, uh, you, or you just need a little money for vacation, come down to Jersey View Pond and Gun and see us. We'll help you out. And uh, 49 years servicing North Central Florida and Ocala. Come see us. Hospitality wow. second to none. We'd love to see you. 49 years. Ruben, thank you. T tell everyone over at Jerry's Pond and Gun we said hi. We will do the same. Thank you, guys. We couldn't do it without you. You guys are awesome, and uh, look forward to talking to you before the 4th of July. All right. We'll be right back for Fun with Joe. In 1870, federal legislation established July 4th as a national holiday. The voice of South Marion wants to remind you of the freedom that it represents. Have fun and enjoy all the celebrations, but remember to keep it safe. Don't drink and drive, auto or boat. Be careful with fireworks and never allow youngsters to be unsupervised. Make this holiday Day one to remember for all the fun. Happy Independence Day from all of your friends at the Voice of South Marion. You've got a garden and we've got a show for you called You've Got a Garden with your host, Master Gardener Carol Ann Baldwin. Carol Ann answers your questions about your flowers, your veggies, your grass, your trees, even questions about your bugs. And she's only on WOCA, so don't miss Carol Ann Baldwin and You've Got a Garden each Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. right here on WOCA The Source. Here are today's headlines from the source WOCA. The Lake County Sheriff's Office said it is investigating the fatal stabbing of a 15-year-old juvenile in Leesburg. Detectives say the victim was in a car around 2 a.m. on Saturday when he got into some sort of altercation. He got out of the car near what is called the Million Dollar Gated Home Complex and was stabbed. Investigators found a trail of blood on the street leading toward an apartment complex. Family members placed red and white flowers at the site, according to the report. Deputies are still interviewing witnesses. They are trying to determine whether the stabbing was in self-defense or if it was murder. SpaceX is investigating why its Falcon 9 rocket failed and broke apart just two and a half minutes after a Sunday morning launch from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The unmanned rocket was carrying two tons of supplies to the International Space Station, including a docking attachment for future flights. Gwen Shotwell, president of SpaceX, a private company under contract with NASA to deliver payloads to the space station, said the problem was in the rocket's upper stage. The commander of the International Space Station says he watched as the Dragon supply ship headed its way and exploded after launch. Scott Kelly tweeted, quote, space is hard, unquote. This is the third failure of a space station cargo mission in just the last eight months, resulting in the loss of 15,000 pounds of equipment and supplies. Last fall, an Antares rocket from a company called Orbital Sciences exploded six seconds after launching from the Wallops flight facility in Virginia. In April, a Progress cargo ship launched by the Russian failed to reach the proper orbit and burned up on re-entry. NASA says the space station crew has enough food and water. Another supply ship is scheduled to launch from Russia at the end of the week. SpaceX says it will take months to investigate the incident and make changes for the next mission. 
Three men convicted of manslaughter and hazing in the 2011 death of Florida A&M University drum major Robert Champion in Orlando are not going to prison. Aaron Golson, Benjamin McNamee, and Daryl Kiernel were each facing up to 20 years behind bars. On Friday, they were each sentenced to 10 years of supervised probation. Champion was fatally injured during a hazing ritual in which FAMU band members were beaten as they made their way from the front of their bus after the Florida Classic football game at the Orlando Citrus Bowl. Earlier this year, the accused ringleader in the hazing, Dante Martin, was sentenced to six years in prison. All told, 15 band members were charged with manslaughter, with some taking plea deals and receiving combinations of probation and community service. If you're heading to the happiest place on earth, leave your selfie sticks at home. Walt Disney World has announced that starting tomorrow, it will prohibit guests from taking the gadgets into any of its four theme parks, water parks, or the gaming venue Disney Quest. The Orlando Sentinel quotes a Disney spokesperson as saying the selfie sticks have become a growing concern for guests and cast, and not just in Central Florida. Also starting tomorrow, they'll be banned at Disneyland Resort in California. On Wednesday, the ban spreads to Disney's parks in Paris and Hong Kong. Signs are being installed to inform guests of the new policy and security will be looking for selfie sticks during the bag check at the front gates. Guests will have the option of turning in the sticks for pickup later or taking them back to their cars or hotel rooms. Disney had banned the cell phone attachments from individual rides, but guests continued to break the rules. And those are the headlines from the source WOCA 96.3 FM and 1370 AM. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala!